Alright, continuing where we left off with this thermi task, and we're starting off the video with an elite clue scroll. Pretty good. Uh, let's let's go complete this. And here is the casket. As you can see, nothing very special, but hey, it's another elite clue scroll to add to the counter of I think it's two hundred. I need to get to. And when I collect the roots, there we go. There is three, and that is the elite task in the Falador area completed. Uh, I can't actually complete the rest of the Falador diary, but I thought, hey. While I'm here and I have the farming requirement, I may as well. I, just a quick little milestone here. 500 thermonuclear smoke devil kills. Yeah, it's, it's still a boss I enjoy, but I would like to get the occult if, uh, if possible, please. After completing my thermonuclear smoke devil task, I thought, hey, let's open my brimstone keys. So I get plate bodies, uh, full helms, two magic seeds, and some iron ore. Which, you know, it's pretty good. It's, pretty, it's what you expect. It's, it, the brimstone keys are good, dude. I was lucky enough to get a brimstone key on my wyvern's task, and I came to open the box, and, uh... Mystic Boots Dusk, which I'm fairly sure are one in a thousand, or something along those lines, and they're also the most useless mystic piece. But hey, it's, it's pretty cool to get if I can get the full set one day. That'd be pretty cool. Just on a Abyssal Demon task, and I managed to get myself an Elite, Cru Cl elite Clue Scroll, which I have no idea what the chance of that is, but I feel like it has to be pretty rare. Either way, I'm always down for another clue scroll, so yeah, keep keep them coming. Hey, so let's just uh, clear this aspori, see what we're gonna get, and uh, yeah, look, we get another bottomless compost bucket. I I can't remember how many of these I have, but I have way more than I need, because uh, <laughs> I need one. <laughs> right, so right here we're gonna be coming up on a pretty important farming level. 92 farming, halfway there to 99. Hey, and 1950 total as well, that's pretty, pretty good. Right, so here I have an elite clue and a hard clue. The elite clue is a step that I don't want to do, and the hard clue's in the wilderness. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get myself an easy and a medium clue, and I'm going to get myself a master casket. And there is the medium, pretty quick. And there is the easy, this was even quicker. Right, let's head over to Watson and get ourselves a master. Here you go, Watson. There are the clue scrolls. He'll give us a master. Yeah, there we go. Let us see what the first step is. Cheer in the Entrana Church. Ah, I can do that one. I have the crafting level. Easy peasy. Give us the next step, my dude. Ah, this step. For this, I need the Zamorak Full Helm and the Shadow Sword. I'm lucky enough to have the Zamorak Full Helm. I got it fairly early on, I think. And then I also need the Shadow Sword, which for that I need to complete the General Shadow, which I don't think I've done before, and I'm going to need to look that up, but I don't think it's too difficult because it's list listed as a mini quest, so let's go get ourselves the Shadow Sword. And here we are in the final boss battle of the General Shadow quest. I way over prepared for this. I, like You can see that I brought a whole load of food. I was expecting this to be a lot harder than it was. I don't know why. Uh, but I thought it would be really difficult, and yeah, it's pretty pretty cool. You, you eat the leg, you stab him in the back with a blowpipe, and uh, you get yourself the Shadow Sword, which is pretty cool. But uh, as you can see, it also means that I only have one thing on my entire quest list that is not green, and even though it means nothing and has no good rewards, I'm going to go do the Enchanted Key quest because I want my entire quest list to be uh, to be green.
so yeah, that is all of the enchanted key completed. You get like 20k from it, it's not really worth it, and the Mjolnirs are bad, like, there's no reason to use them anywhere. Um, but hey, it means my, uh, my, my quest list is now completely green, and that is all I cared about. So after the short detour of doing enchanted key, I now have the master casket. And, and it's pretty okay, Five, 450k, that's actually pretty good, that's a good amount of alcohols as well, I'm quite happy with that. Hey, there we go, Abyssal Whip on the ground. It is one of the most beautiful drops to see in the game. I think there's no one here that loves it. Ignore me in game, I'm an idiot. This is actually the third one that I have got. 1800kc, slightly below drop rate, but considering the first two I got were like in 200kc, I can't really complain about it. Because you only need to until your tent breaks. 420 tasks completed. Hehe, <laughs> weed. Doing some AFK woodcutting while doing some work, and we are coming in on 76 woodcutting. There we go, pretty useless level, but it's one step closer to 90. Step 1 complete. Step 2 complete. Step 3 complete. Hey, 99 HP. Feels good, man. I decided to... Uh, finish this in the same way that I started the account, which is with the Iron Dagger from the chest and the Iron Man plate body, killing some chickens. Uh, I made this account February 2017. I'm acting as if I've maxed it, but hey, I've just got 99 HP, but that is my second 99. And yeah, I made this account February 2017, so two, nearly two and a half years ago now. <laughs> Oof, it, it feels weird to think I've been playing this account for two and a half years. But yeah, um, I'm going to head over to the uh, Duel Arena, but I'm going to do it the Iron Man way and I'm going to walk. And let's go collect my cape. Alright, I've got the cash and I've got all my skill capes. Let's talk to Surgeon General Tif 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 Tifani? Tiffany? I don't know. Hi, how can I help? Uh... Can I buy a skill cape of hit points from you? Certainly, my friend. Such a privilege will cost you 99k. Uh, sure. That seems... That's not too expensive for such a magnificent cape. There we go. Your boy... Has done it. 99 HP. I love this cape. It looks so good. Uh, I don't... I Well, to be fair, I just like how all of the white capes look. I, I love the quest cape. I love the music cape. I love the HP cape. But yeah, this is all of my capes that I have so far. I've got four of them. These two are now trimmed, obviously, which is going to be pretty nice. It means I get the healthy plus four prayer bonus. Feels pretty good. All right, coming up real soon. I'm going to flick piety just to make it go a little bit quicker. But we should be coming up to 92 defense. But I thought I would have had it by now. There we go, 92 defense. Halfway there to 99. Obviously, I can't train just attack with the Hasta, so I'd rather train just defense. And then once I finish with attack, I'll be slightly closer. Because uh, there's no point in me gaining any more strength XP, really. Okay, so this may seem a little bit out of left field, given the fact that I want to get the Occult and the Zenite. But I also want to get some things from this guy, and... That specifically being the... I actually don't know which mix I want to get. I might go with the Frozen. Yeah, I want to get this, and I want to have... I want to... I want... Oh, obviously, I have no reason to get this at the moment. But once I get the things, I want to get them. I essentially... I really like the upgrades. I like things to look pretty. Uh, so, I think I'm going to try and get them. I don't think there's anything else I really want to get. I'm not going to bother painting a Dark Bow. I'm never going to use it. And... Yeah, so I just want to get a Frozen Volcano Mix, which is 500k, which is 10 totems. It's not nearly as many as I needed for this, which is, what, 24, I think? But yeah, so I'm going to go do some Wildy Slayer, collect myself 10 totems, and see how that goes. Let's just get collect ourselves the first task and see what we get. Ice Warriors. Cool. Alright, I think this will be the last kill in the task. I was actually hit. There we go. And nope. 
no emblems this task feels bad man let's head back to edgeville and get another task hey there is the first mysterious emblem then 190k now dude that's crazy i th i swear they were like 100k when they first came out as like tradable and when i uh got my rune pouch on my main i bought them for 70k each so jeez <laughs> yeah Save myself a bit of money by doing that quick. But yeah, this task is great. You just sit here. You AFK. Oh, did my aggro just run out? Okay, so I'm still slightly aggro. I might go reset that quickly though. Oh hey, there is number two. Nice. Oh heck, number three. This is the best task, dude. This is apparently, like, going off the uh, actual drop rate, I shouldn't have even got, or I should have got one, I think. But hey, I'm not going to complain. I'm quite happy just to keep doing this task. I I can't praise this task enough, dude. I better not die. <laughs> I'll be so sad. So this is a bit of a strange time to uh, point this out, but I only just noticed uh, I am 120 combat now. I was 119. I'm fairly sure before... Before the HP level, I think. It may have been the defense level that pushed us up. Hello? Okay, cool. <laughs> it may have been the defense level that pushed us over, but yeah, within the within the HP level and the defense level, I gained 120 combat, which is pretty cool. I think that's the combat level that my main is. But yeah, so I, I didn't die, which is pretty good. But yeah, I was 936k. Dude, this has got to be such good money. I know that was, like, insanely lucky. But, like, this has to be good money, surely. Is Wildy Slayer good money? I have no idea. Okay, so something I just learned from looking at the Emblem Trader is that you an emblem, if I sold, if I uh, bought, used the points to get Alcables, it will get me about 10 to 15k per emblem. But I can just go and sell them to the general store at the Bandit Camp. For uh, 30k a pop, so that would be better, but I'm probably going to just use them to get things. Like, what's the next task? Revenants. Well, fuck. I would significantly rather not. Um, I know I could get something really good from them, but fuck the Rev Caves. Ice Giants. Jesus. Okay. This is going to be a long... Oh, I can cannon them. Wait, hang on. I only have like 300 cannonballs. Okay, so I only have 300 cannonballs, but I'm going to go uh, try and cannon these. I don't expect to be able to kill like very many of them with the 300 cannonballs, but it'll get me through a good amount of them. But since I need to take my cannon into the rev caves, and I don't trust the rev caves, I'm literally just going to take the cannon up by itself. And if I decide I don't want to do that, because I can just uh, protect him, and if I decide I don't want to keep going with that, I can just hop worlds and go collect my uh, cannon from the dwarf guy. Alright, so I just ran out of cannonballs. I had about 130 something in. Actually, hang on, Runelight can tell me how many I've killed. I killed 68 with 300 cannonballs, so yeah, I would need about 700 cannonballs to do a full task, uh, just in case anyone would find that information useful. Alright, no emblems that task. But uh, we did get a Slayer enchantment, which is ultimately worthless, I'm fairly sure. It doesn't even alk for anything. But yeah, uh, do I still have a collection of these? I do. Well, it's time to keep adding to them, I guess. But yeah, uh, that was significantly quick with the cannon, so if you're going to do that task, if you can get your hands on a cannon and some cannonballs, do it, 100%. So it was so quick with the cannon, but really not without but yeah let's see what the next task is gonna be right here is number six mysterious emblem right here we go again let's use the clue scroll on watson hand over all of them and let's get our master what is the first step phalo i swear it's always phalo right so uh just a quick tip i have this tag which is my phalo tag where Essentially, it I, like everything that I currently own that I could need to take to Phalo is tagged, so I can just withdraw all of these and my music cape, 
and hope that it's one of the ones that I have. Let's see, Mr. Mr. Phalo. Mr. Phalo, what be it? Oh, I didn't actually read it. Hang on. <laughs> book that preaches of great some great figure. God book. Cool. Phalo, be kind. Uh, red in color. Sword held in the other hand, red in color. Okay. You sure it's not pink in color, my dude? Yeah, they updated it. Phalo again. Right, let's go uh, get some more hide tanned, I guess. Right, this always worries me. Sherlock and the emote clues are the worst ones for me because they're the ones that I have. There's the most that I can't do. Right, let's see. What are we going to do? Fletcher rune dart. I think I can do that. Um, but I have no idea how I'm meant to get a rune dart tip. Let's just check. Uh, yeah, I have the fletching level, but how the hell do I get myself a rune dart tip? Because uh, <laughs> I, I don't think I, I definitely don't have the smithing level for it. Um, or do I? No, no in here. Um, okay, let's see how, <laughs> how do I get a rune dart tip, dude? So, Wiki and the CC have confirmed I need to just go kill Vorkath. It's, without the smithing level, it's the only way to get it, and... I feel like just trying to get one smithing level and then a plus five boost probably isn't worth it. And the stuff that I'll get from Vorkath won't be bad. It's just Vorkath definitely not my favorite boss. So, uh, yeah, since I'm going to have to go do Vorkath and I don't have the Frammy Boots 4, I think the only other way to really get there easily is to move my house to Relica, which... Uh, where is it? There we go. 10k... I don't, to be fair, I don't actually know where my house was. I think it was in Yanil, which was the, and it was there because of uh, the sand pits, but I don't really need that anymore, so I suppose this is the more useful place to have it. And, I mean, it's just a nice teleport to Relica, to be fair, so I'm not gonna, I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, I haven't done Vorkath in a very long time. I'm probably gonna die. I really don't want to die, though. Um, But yeah, let's grab some stuff and see how this goes. I'm, I have no idea what I'm doing, it's been so long. And there is 50 KC at Vorkath. So we get the guaranteed head. Um, I really like how the Vorkath Slayer Helm works, so I don't know if I want to keep this to make the Vorkath Slayer Helm, or if I'd rather have the Hydra Slayer Helm, or the Skatizo Slayer Helm, or what, but... Yeah, I think for the moment this is just going to go sit in the bank. <laughs> oh, I'm still recording, that's convenient. Um, yeah, I just <laughs> got another, another dragon head. Yay! I got the rune dart tips, feels good, man. The commentary on this clip was awful, so I'm going to do it again. Basically, I wanted to AFK some more, so I decided let's do some fishing troll. The run before the one that I am currently on, I got the top, which is pretty cool. I, it's the first item, it's the first piece that I got. I, I've done this a few times and didn't get them, uh, I didn't get any. But yeah, this I, just, I'm going to do some fishing troll. It's, it's not a hard clip. I don't know why I was talking for so long. Well, this is the literal next uh, one that I did. Got the waders now. Cool. Send them to bank. Let's get on here real quick. Uh, equip the waders. Got two out of four now. Please don't say I missed this. I, 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 it took me a while to get my headset. Right, cool. We didn't miss it. And it happens again. The randomly not commentating a clip live for whatever reason. But yeah, as you can see, I got the, I got the hat. This was, fun fact, the next run. So I went back to back to back for three of the pieces. Uh, spoilers, I haven't got the that last one. I've I've been on a couple runs since then. I think I did five or six. I didn't actually get it. I was going for another hour and a half. Um, but yeah, we'll pretty pretty cool. This clip also didn't have commentary, but I'm actually okay with it because it means I can talk over it and we can end the video because we have just hit the twenty minute mark, and. I'd say that's enough for this video. I know it's been a while since the last one, but hey, I can't really help it when I'm that busy. 
But yeah, let's open this Master Casket, see what we are going to get, and it is not very special. We do get a Master Elite, a uh, Master Unique, which is the first one I've got, but yeah. End of the video, hope you enjoyed, see you next time.